Okay, you guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, uh, this was gonna be a little different than um, I was intending. Um, just before we get into it, um, just a disclaimer, there isn't a lot of footage, only because the days that I decided to do this, we were super busy, like super busy. And it was just really rough, okay? The first video, you'll kind of see um, a little bit of my workstation, like my actual workstation that I'll be at on a regular basis when I'm at work. And then in the other one, I got moved to a different unit on my uh, next day of work. So pretty much um, that was interesting and busy and whatnot. But I've decided that since I can record a lot of it for you so you can visually see a lot more, um, I was just going to give you like a kind of, kind of a rundown on what I do um, at work. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. Thank you for watching and continue to watch. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so, um, okay, okay, okay. So as you guys can see, I am uh, dressed for work. I'm going to take you um, on a little experience of what I do as a patient care tech. I'm still a patient care tech. Uh, just to get an idea of where, what I do. Um, I work with cancer patients primarily, but since it is an uh, oncology and med surge unit, you can get other patients as well that aren't technically cancer patients. So, um, yeah, luckily I'm having somebody to work with today, so I don't have to take care of all 25 by myself. And typically, that happens, but I'm, I'm kind of used to it. Um, I'm trying to think. I will let you guys know um or like just record as much as i can um i don't want to show like the hospital or anything um i know the lighting's weird i've had to park on the very top so the sun is beaming down on me but um yeah i'm just gonna go in for a few hours and help out um i think that's it i'm trying not to look weird recording in my car um, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll try to give you like an idea of what I do on a uh, typical basis or a daily basis at work thus far and how much you uh, can benefit from being a patient care tech if you're thinking about being a patient care tech before, you know, becoming a nurse. It's a great experience to have or even if you just want to be like a CNA. Um, I'm not a CNA technically. Since I was in nursing school, I got to keep my job. So um, that was my benefit. So if you don't go to uh, CNA, I have like the training and the certification for it. Um, that is another way you can get hospital experience. If you're in the nursing program and you've taken the fundamentals or like the basic nursing classes, um, most hospitals for the most part um, that I know of will let, allow you to work as a tech. So, yeah, I'm about to go in. Yep. So hi everybody. I'm I'm gonna try this way. Um, it is a different day. I am at work. I got moved to a different unit instead of my home unit. So recording anything is not gonna be the same as what I typically would do as far as like on my unit. But um, once I get home and shower, I will kind of give a rundown of. I feel like I'm not looking at you. <laughs> what I do um, on a daily basis at work. 
Um, sorry, it's not a lot of footage, but I can kind of give you an idea without like showing you everything because each unit is different. And um, right now we've been super busy. I've taken some time off the floor. So I'm in the break room, hence why you just see me like chilling. Um, but yeah, I'll, I've been trying to do this since like last week. So obviously it's just not gonna happen the way I want it to, which is okay, it's fine. Um, but I did want to take you guys um, kind of on a journey of what I, I do at work. Um, here's like one of the computers we can use while we're in here. We can do some patient charting a little bit um, while we're in here. Obviously this one isn't on, I haven't been on it. Um, it's been a very busy morning. Um, I just finished getting blood sugars, doing baths, vital signs. Got punched in the belly today. Yay, uh, but it's all good, didn't hurt that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head home before the sun goes down in a little while. Give my report off to whoever's coming to take my place. And I will give you guys a rundown. I think this is gonna be the quickest video I've ever done. And sorry if the TV's loud, I can't, I don't know how to turn it off. Like I said, this isn't my unit, and I don't know how to turn off their TV. They don't even have the remote. Bye. But um, once I get home, I will give you you guys a better um, overview of what I do um, as a tech. Um, more pertaining to my unit that I'm normally on. Um, <clears throat> but overall, it's just the same thing. So... I will be going back to work now. I don't have to work the required part-time hours or the required full-time hours. I just come when I want to come. Which was good for me while I was in school because school uh, schedules fluctuate so much and you don't know how much time you have to dedicate to school. So it was easier for me to just stay PR in while I was in school. Um, now that I'm out of school, I'm remaining PRN because I got a job somewhere else as a RN, full-time RN. So I'm like, it's really no point in me trying to do all of that and try to study for my NCLEX and try to prepare myself for my new position. I'd just rather just be PRN and just pick up hours. You can work as many as you want um, in my hospital, uh, but... Like, if you wanted to work five 12-hour shifts, you can do that. That's fine. It's just going to look like you're in overtime anyway. My typical day starts around 7 a.m. And at 7 a.m., I get report from the night techs if there were any. Sometimes there aren't. Um, and they just give me a rundown of every patient on the unit. Now, the thing with techs versus nurses, nurses have their set of patients that they are taking care of. Uh, the charge nurse will know about every patient a little bit and then your techs also know about every patient as far as like who's got baths, what nurses are assigned to these patients, who needs assistance eating, um, who has catheters, who has um, NG tubes, who just came out of surgery, who's scheduled for surgery is important for our techs to know. Um, who has to go to IR, um, which for us is done on the oncology unit because I, I do work on a cancer, mainly cancer-based unit, as I think I said once upon a time in one of these videos. You have to know these things because you, you're also planning your day out um, based off of the patient needs for the floor. Um, some people are able to do for themselves some patients are able to do for themselves and that's perfect uh, others you have to do everything for you also need to know who's on hospice you need to know who is a do not resuscitate versus a full code um, you need to know who has um, certain breathing uh, machines such as BiPAPs and CPAPs um, you need to know if a patient is on some type of contact Precaution, isolation precaution, I should say. You need to know why and what it is, or I guess that would be 
the same thing. But it's a lot you have to know as a patient care tech. What does a patient care tech do? So um, we pretty much, we come in the morning, get the report, like I said, on all the patients on the unit, whether you have seven patients total or 25, like me. Um, and then after you get report on your patients, you start off by getting vital signs and blood sugars. Um, I do both at the same time. When I first started doing tech stuff, I didn't know how to multitask in my cluster care. So I would go around and do all the vital signs. And then I would try to go around and do all the blood sugars. But by that time, the nurse tech got them like, we already got them. Because breakfast is coming. So it takes me, <clears throat> even to this day, as a more experienced, patient care tech it takes me about an hour and a half to do all 25 vitals if I'm by myself um, because constantly the phones are ringing you have to answer call bells um, you have to help people get to the bathroom if there's an emergency if there's a code you just never know so it on average takes me about an hour and a half so from the time I get report to an hour and a half after that I'm pretty much wrapping it up with my um, requirements of becoming a patient care tech and a CNA. Um, <clears throat> I know to, to be certified as a CNA, certified, get your certification as a CNA. They'll teach you how to do bed baths. They'll teach you how to do regular baths. They'll teach you how to work the EKG machines and all this stuff because you never know what you're gonna have to do and you never know where you're gonna work unless you already do know. But you, they, they teach you. you. You get taught and you get certified. I'm not a certified CNA, as I've said so at some point in time in one of these video clips that you're going to see. I'm not a CNA. I am uh, what they considered a nurse extern, which pretty much qualified me to become a patient care tech at a hospital. Um, they want you to have your CNA license if you're going to apply to that position. But if you're in nursing school and you've completed, successfully completed your first semester, meaning you've completed the fundamentals of nursing, um, then you can apply to work as a patient care tech on the unit. Um, benefits of this type of job for becoming a nurse. So... Benefits of this type of job, oh my God, it's so many, so many. One, <clears throat> if I was staying on my unit, it would be that I can easily transition to be a nurse. I already know the people I work with. I know the doctors I work with. I know the layout of the floor. I know all the codes to get into the supply room, medication room, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I already know it. So it would be more of an easier transition as far as being a new nurse. Um, but I'm not staying there, unfortunately. Um, um, another benefit I could say of this job is if you're uh, not a people person like I was, you definitely will benefit from doing this because it helps you get used to talking to and associating with other persons and learning how to communicate with patients and learning how to have patience with patients and understand that they're going through something really tough and hard for them to um, really verbally express. And it might take it out on you. Some patients cry, some patients yell, some patients try to hit. They do try. The other day I got punched in the belly, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Um, but you know, things happen and you're gonna be in that situation where you have to be the uh, problem solver. And you have to figure out a compromise or a solution. It's important and it's a great experience to learn how to approach and communicate with patients as well as your peers that you work with. Um, another good benefit of it is you get hands-on experience. <laughs> That's like the best one I can mention um, I can't tell you how many baths I've given, given a lot. Um, learning how to do measurements of I's and O's. Um, learning how you get to even watch some of the procedures that you'll, you'll do as a nurse, like inserting NG tubes. If you've never seen that done, 
you know your nurse one of your nurses is about to do it hey can i pretend like i'm helping you so i can watch and you watch it happen you watch how they explain the procedure you watch how they do the procedure um what else you can learn how to do your ekgs there you can learn how to read heart rhythms if you are becoming a nurse it's a good way for you to learn prioritization of what needs to get done as well as being responsible with what needs to get done um i will say that i've met i've met nurses who have been patient care techs and i'm not saying all nurses are like this by the way before i say it but i've met nurses who have been patient care techs who pretty much don't need you for a lot <laughs> and like when they go in their patient room they're doing their head to toe they might go ahead and do the bath once they get some time on their hands uh, they go ahead and pass their meds and get a bath or something or change the sheets or um, walk them or whatever. They barely ask you to do much for them. And then I've also met nurses who ask you to do everything for that patient. Even if you just like finish doing a total bath, meaning that patient couldn't move at all, couldn't help you at all. It probably was a heavy and you, you worked up a sweat, the back curtain, all of that. And now you just came out this room, you just wanna sit down for a minute, catch your breath, but somebody's asking you to do something and they just came out that room. And they could've done it. Could've done it. it is important and vital um, that you, you keep that mentality as you transition over to a nurse. Um, and I think being a, a, a patient care tech um, you get to see what you don't want to be like and what you do want to be like as a nurse. And you implement that and you won't forget what it's like to be a tech. And you have to remember why you chose to work in healthcare, period, no matter what position you hold. Um, nobody, to me personally, nobody's higher than the other. Um, we all should treat each other with dignity and respect. And I don't look at people um, I don't look at patients and I look at my peers as any higher or lower than me. We are all on the same level, just helping each other out. And that's that something. <laughs> it might not be a lot, but I got something. I'll try to maybe do an update on where you don't see me doing this, like in this setting. You just honestly just gonna see me walk through the hospital, walk to the thing. But even at my workstation, um, I couldn't show you a whole lot because my computer, like if I sat at my computer, you can see the patients in the background. So I have to make sure that it's facing just the computer, not me. Because if it's facing me, you're also going to see patients in the background. Who knows? You might see a booty somehow in the background. So I don't want that to happen. So um, I want to protect their privacy, protect my hospital's privacy, and um, try to be a little educational on on what a patient care tech does, just in case you're interested. But um, I think that's it. If you have like any more questions about it, or like you want like a really in-depth, detailed video, I can do that too. I don't think it's necessary, but I can do it as well. Anyways, it was great talking to you guys. Sorry for the delay in the videos. It's just, I really tried to get the videos together. It, it just didn't you know, happen the way I wanted. But um, I will see you guys later. Juices. Juices.